Hey guys, Kimboy3800 here once again, and as you can see, two, well, I guess you could say fairly old laptops. Um, one over here is an Apple, the other one over here is Toshiba. And what I'm going to do is do head-on-head -head combat, um, with PC versus Mac. Now, these were both launched around the same time, 1997-1999. So they're both around the same time and I'm going to do the pros and cons of each system and which one I prefer. Um, I'm going to turn them on both at the same time so you can see how quickly they, um, well, you know what, I'm going to show you all the little specs about them first. This is the Apple PowerBook 5300C, I'm a higher one of the highest versions of this laptop you could get. Highest version is um, CE or CX something. Um, one of those two. On the side you have your battery and floppy drive port. You have your optional little things to keep it standing up, keep it cool. You have your infrared, you have your monitor out cable, um, microphone, headphone, printer, or SCSI, Mac SCSI, keyboard, mouse, power. And on the side you have two 16-bit PC MCA, or as I call it, PC MIA cards. Opening it up, you have a. I'll move the Toshiba out of the way a little bit. Opening it up, you have a touchpad, one button, famous Mac um, fed, and you have your standard Mac keyboard. That button with the left arrow above the delete button is the power button. Not sure why, of all places, they chose to put it there. Okay, so... These two switches... Well, this little... Um, lever... Um, controls the contrast. And the one above it controls the brightness. The volume is controlled, um, by the computer. Um, it has a 512 megabyte hard drive installed um, with Mac 7.03 operating system. Uh, pretty good for its time. Um, fairly fast once it boots up and it's ready to go. Um, this laptop's been used a lot though. Um, I'm sure you can tell by the shine of the keys. Normally they're not that shiny when new. So. Um, this one's been used a lot, and the battery doesn't hold a charge for a, a second. So, I don't know, but, yeah, not a very good battery for Mac. And I've even heard that, um, testing batteries for this laptop caught fire. So, yeah. On the back, you noticed how it had... Um, the SCSI port, this can be used for serial, for VGA output, and for printer output. So, um, it can be used for many different things, um, but not as convenient as having them all right in the laptop. You have to carry around a bunch of adapters with you, kind of like having all the adapters for the Sega Genesis and whatnot. I guess you could say. Now let's take a look at the Toshiba. On the Toshiba you have battery here. Um, your little indicator light. Oh yeah, indicator light on the Mac is right here. Don't mind my fingers, I was working on something greasy outside. And I got a blister doing it. Let me 
this side you have your empower and power protect button this little slider slides over to protect the power button volume slider um audio out microphone audio in on the back you have power um, mouse keyboard and this is one of the first laptops you have a USB port I believe it's USB 1 or 1.1 because there wasn't USB 2.0 back then now they have 3.0 and you have a fan if you notice on the Mac um, no fan just a little thing to keep the bottom uh, lifted up you have a serial port here printer port and DGA out DGA output um, what I don't really like about this is that they're all upside down. Why? Of all? Never mind. On this side you have... Um, two um, PC cards. They can be locked or unlocked with this little switch on the side. Um, one for modem, one for um, fax. You have a CD drive and um, floppy drive. So um, overall, this thing um, has more to it. But being that it's newer, I'm not really surprised. Please don't mind all the stickiness on the top because it came with a whole bunch of unnecessary crap. This, for instance, it was taped along the top. Why, of all places? Well, I guess the real way to test these two out is to boot them up. And go airborne a little bit. Yes, this tripod is everything. Set the PC off because it accidentally turned on and stuff. Um, it has the Toshiba has one of these little um green knobs. I'm not such a big fan of those. Um, left click, right click. Seems to blow enough. It has a standard Toshiba keyboard layout with the start button or Windows button being up here for some odd reason. Well, let's fire these two up. Now they both have to go through a little boot sequence. I'm just going to cover up the power button there it takes a little bit for each one to boot up and um, the Toshiba has Windows Millennium Edition and right now it's just scanning the disk both going through their own little boot processes. The thing about, I like about the Mac screen is that you can see it on any angle. I mean, even straight up and down. I don't think the Mac can see it, but I mean, I can still see it. <laughs> Mac. Camera can see it, but I can see it perfectly fine. All colors still there. It doesn't go. It goes into negative a little bit, but then it fixes itself like right up. You can see it from a wide variety of angles. Mac is still starting up. It takes a little bit for each one to get through the little sequences, but as seen with the Toshiba, Windows seems to have beat Mac this time. But being that um, um, the Toshiba has a faster processor, 
um, more than double the speed of this one. The Mac has a 112 megahertz processor, um, power PC processor. Um, best for the time, but not the best um, for when the Toshiba was launched. So, yeah. The satellite has um, an Intel Pentium 2 processor and um, it is at 244 megahertz and Mac has finally decided to boot itself up but it's still loading on all its little machines and it's not the camera that's making it seem like there's more than one cursor um, I have it on um, cursor tails because well, when you move it around, it seems to disappear and you can't see it. The tails just make it easier to keep track where it's going. And now that they're finally all booted up, you can see that, well, Windows is a lot more colorful. This is, I guess you could call the Apple Start menu down here. Windows ME. Um, being the first to offer like System Restore and um, Windows Movie Maker, um, you always set it apart from the others. Um, Apple at the time had Microsoft Word. And Ironically enough, Microsoft doesn't have it. What a pity. It has WordPad though. Um, sort of a watered down version though. Um, I'm just going to get OpenOffice for probably both of these. Or I can't really do this since this only takes floppy disks. Oh well, I'll put like OpenOffice on that. It has like PowerPoint, Word 2003, all that. My Dell running Windows 7 has... Um, Office 2011 or 10, whichever one is the newest. Um, I tried to put Office 2003 on this one, but um, it needed a different version of Windows. That's one of the problems with Millennium Edition. It's not compatible with everything you throw at it. And I've also heard that it crashes a lot, but um, being the five hours that I've had this computer, I haven't experienced it once. This one's battery um, lasts um, quite a long time. I was playing a pinball game for an hour and a half. And um, by the time I was done, it had 63%, starting at 100%. Well, 83 actually. 83% down to 63%. So I'm betting it has a good at least two and a half hours of battery. And why did the Mac screen just flicker? We're going to see how long it takes each one to shut down. So even, well Mac got a few seconds head start, but um, as you can see the Mac um, won by just a few seconds. But being that it's older, and, well I'm not sure, fast, from, fast processor on an old computer. Um, I'm going to start them both back up. And you get to see this old um, catchphrase. I'll, look, I'll get back to you when it's all. Well, no, I'll just let it be. So 
something odd about the Mac though is that um, the hard drive gets hot, not the CPU. Um, I have it set for um, virtual RAM at maximum, which is um, 13 megabytes, which is a lot for the time. That much RAM. Um, Windows ME over here has 64 megabytes, and I have it set to 2 gigs of um, what do you call it? Virtual RAM and 64. Um, physical RAM. The good thing about the Mac computer is that the power cord is long as ever. So, I mean, like, I guess I could walk across the room and still have enough cord to spare. But when it was ME, I find very interesting knowing that, um, ME didn't last very long in the market, and it was discontinued very early considered to how long XP has been. And it, seem, it seems to have everything that Windows XP 2000 and Windows 98 have, just not the best. Like Windows XP, you can do more with um, Windows programs like Movie Maker. I also had. Um, well, the old version of Paint, the one I like best, because it's um, simple to use. As you can see, it's very colorful, has a nice big taskbar, and Mac is still um, booting all the way up. I normally have it on, like, sleep mode, so that's why. And there's a little click of sound showing that's ready. It says Internet Explorer, Outlook Express, a couple of games and accessories. Pinball is a fun game. I was playing that as said before. Um, it's hard to find um, PC cards that are compatible with these computers because, as I said before, they're 16-bit. All the newer ones are 32-bit. Um, and I wanted to use... Is. I wanted to use... And this thing on it, it's a USB card bus 2.0 adapter with four USB ports. As you know, on this one, it has one USB port. That one over there has none. And since this is a 32-bit card bus, um, yeah, I'm at a standstill there. I have another tissue, but that's a lot like this one, but it has a little problem. It's a very bulky laptop. Yeah, it does that when it... It just lets you know it's going to sleep and stuff. The battery does hold some charge. I haven't tested it. And, well, I'll show you why. This is the rarest model of this computer. It's a Toshiba Tecra 730XCDT. Turning it on.
that shows us getting the BIOS and stuff, but as you can see, nothing comes up on the screen. I'm not sure what's up with that. It shuts down quickly, showing it's still in BIOS. I'm just going to give you a quick little look at this one. Over here you have BGA. This is your serial printer, not printer, mouse, keyboard, microphone, audio out, audio left, audio right, docking station expansion, which is, I think, pretty neat. And underneath this little flap, it's hard to open, but underneath it is um, a printer cable, printer out. You have your um, phone line there, you have two PC cards here. Um, proprietary floppy drive port. In the front has a CD drive. Battery comes out nice and smooth. On the side, power button. And you may or may not have noticed, um, it's a little bit cracked here, and, well, yeah, pretty easy to open up and stuff. Let's take a look at the Mac. We've been talking all about the Toshiba, so, yeah. And I'm not sure why the camera makes the screen and everything so dark. Maybe it's intentional. But what I really like about the Mac is that, well, there's Photoshop on it. Photoshop 3.0. Congratulations, Apple. Hey, shut up! Doing a video! Haha. <laughs> My brother, also known as Camera 7001, is a little sick to the head sometimes. And Photoshop works really well, I must say. Alright, it's back up. Well, not back up, it's up. Gonna do new. One thing is that when you're at the top taskbar and stuff, you have to hold down the mouse button. Then let go of it to select. Not a big fan of it, but um, it's easy to get used to. Just not the best way to do stuff. Not sure why, but I have pink selected. Hope you can see that okay. And she's black. And there you go, I made a squiggly line and a black surface. And that's actually about it for, for this Mac. Um, I use this as a collector's item, actually. I really can't take it anywhere since it doesn't hold any kind of charge. Um, I'll show you. Oh. 
Could lay off. And now the bottom of it, even after running it for just um, a few minutes, is actually quite hot. That was a Windows screensaver. Not really sure what it is, it's just blocks stacking on top of each other. Which odd is when I um saw this on eBay, it had an Ethernet port on the side. So another um kind of PC card I guess. But um, it wasn't included in the Freddy included on the fax and dial up modem thing. But I thankfully have a serial to Ethernet, RJ45. Just screw it in the back and I'm ready to go online. And yes, the USB port is compatible with mice and USB and USB flash drives. As long as they're all backwards compatible, um, it works just fine. So, um, overall, um, if you want portability and just want a laptop, I say go for the Mac 5300C or any of the others. Um, they're cheap, affordable, you can get one working at a good price. I got this one with all the accessories that you see, um, the PC card, Microsoft Word, Photoshop, all for $50 in the power um, supply. The Toshiba I got with Windows ME, um, no power adapter, but a good battery. Um, everything works just fine. It is well, I'm not really sure how, but it's three hard drives in it, um, or one hard drive has two others built into it. Not really sure how, but it does. Um, Windows, I mean, all works just fine. Good battery, holds your charge. Only thing that I hated is all the annoying stickers, and now the top is permanently sticky, for as long as it will be alive. So, yeah, if you want a more of a work laptop, um, go for the Toshiba Satellite um, 320CT, or CD, whichever one it is, um, because it has more options and it's easy um, to do, well, install other operating systems, like if you wanted to install well, this is just for instance, Windows 98 Second Edition. Um, yes, this is still sealed. Yes. Now I can finally use um, floppy disks on a working laptop. Something else um, on this other Toshiba. Wow, well, this. The satellite is considerably um, lighter than the Tecra, or Tecra, however you, you pronounce it. Is that it's actually quite easy to take out the CD drive. In 
hard drive. Yeah, CD drive goes stuck in there. Hard drive, on the other hand, is not. So, yeah, I have another laptop under my bed. Yes, that's where I keep all my laptops. This Compact Presario 1070. It works except it kind of has the same problem as the Tekra. Nothing shows up on the screen. I don't want to go looking around for the power adapter. But touchpad, left, right. Buttons. FN key is a little bit pushed down after being used probably. Either so much or not at all. Battery doesn't hold a charge, of course. Um, the Shiva laptop update coming soon. Um, as in, what I mean by Toshiba is um, satellite A70 starter problems. Remember that old video? One of my most popular? It's coming back. Get ready. I'm going to put all these laptops back under my bed. Then, I guess I'll get back to posting reviews. Thanks, Game Boy out.